guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I will be doing another training session with my baby rats, Donut and Olive. Uh, and again, I am training them together right now because I'm trying to build back their confidence after I had some older rats pass, uh, but I will switch back to training them in single sessions uh, once I feel they are confident enough, which they kind of are right now, but I figure another session or two together won't hurt. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and work on two main things. Um, first of all, I want to get Donut here, and Donut is the one with the white belly, uh, to start picking up objects. And second of all, we have Olive here, who already knows how to do a fetch, uh, and I want Olive to learn, first of all, how to fetch to hand, which she kind of already knows. Um, I don't think she'll have any trouble with that. And then also, I want her to learn how to fetch to uh, some sort of hoop or object, which we might not get to today, but we will try. Okay, so we're going to start by working with Olive here. Uh, and she's already pretty good. You can see she can fetch the ball to me pretty easily. So yeah, like I said, Olive is pretty good at fetching the ball to me. So I'm just going to start putting my hand in front of her uh, and rewarding on it, or actually uh, right next to it, in order to kind of teach her how to fetch the hand. Uh, she already learned fly ball, so she already has learned to uh, target the ball over something. Because for a fly ball, you have to target it over some jumps. Uh, and that's a pretty natural way to transition to uh, fetch itself. So, okay, Alan, you ready? Good. So you can see I just putting my hand right in front of me where she was dropping the ball before. Uh, and that kind of helps her to start learning where to put it. It's a little bit more difficult with two rats, but that's okay. Okay, not bad. So again, since we have already worked on fly ball, uh, this shouldn't really give her too much trouble because fly ball kind of teaches them already how to target uh, a ball or whatever object they are running around with over something. And well, on the other hand, we also have Donut, which I would like to work on some stuff with. So Donut's main issue is that she doesn't like picking up objects. So I'm having her just work with some cardboard here. You can see that's just a little piece of cardboard. Um, and the reason for that is because I noticed that she likes to chew on this cardboard tube over here. And you know, if you chew on something, you have to bite it. So she is willing to bite cardboard, but not really anything else. And so I'm having her just bite the cardboard, I'm rewarding her for it, and then I'm going to go ahead and introduce another object in. Now in this case, I'm going to try and use a crinkled ball of paper. Uh, first of all, actually, I have some crinkled cardboard here, uh, which I will try using. So she's willing to take that from me, which is a great sign. Well, there we go. So she's willing to try and take the paper when I offer it to her like this, which is a great sign. I'm gonna do that a few times. Hi, sugar, get your little butt out of here. Okay. So, good. So she's doing really good. I'm going to go ahead and give her a treat. And oh my god, my older rats get out of here. Get out. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of chaotic. Sorry about that. Uh, anyways. Okay, so she's doing really good with this. Uh, this one, again, is Olive. Olive is the one who can fetch. This is Donut, on the other hand, who cannot fetch. But let's see if she'll pick up the ball. Um, I'm going to actually try a more crinkled ball. Uh, because I think she'll have an easier time with that. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling to <laughs> work with four rats at once. This is not good. Okay, so now we have this little ball here. Okay, so let's see if she'll uh, pick it up. Good job. So she's picking it up pretty well. Um, hi, sugar. Hi, uh, sugar. Hi, sugar. I know. I know. Good job. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey, Olive. Okay, nope. What's that? Good. I want her to. Good. So you can see I'm just waiting for her to bite it, which she doesn't want to do naturally, which is why I'm offering it like this um, instead, in order to kind of encourage that a little bit more. Good. So the next step I have for encouraging her to bite it more is I'm going to actually uh, do something called tunnel fetch. And basically for that, I'm going to put a little hoop against this thing right here. So you might have seen this in one of my previous videos because I actually used this to get all of to start fetching. Uh, and basically, I'm going to just put that little piece in there and we'll see if she'll grab it. Can you grab it? Get in there. What's that? What's that? What's that? Huh? Do you see this in there? Can you get that? Good. So she's starting to kind of grab it. I just want her to uh, try and pull it out, which is something you'll often see them do once they start to 
uh, pick up the object because it's kind of just an instinctual behavior for them uh, that they like to do quite a bit. Come on, you ready? You get that? Good job. And now I'm going to start moving that a little bit more. Ready? You get that? Right in there. That's it. Good job! The main point is for her to grab the crinkled paper and pull it through the hoop. Come here! Can you get that? Oops. No, no, don't, don't. I just want you to take this. This is, this is. What's that? Nope, nope, don't go through there. Good. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. I'm just gonna keep practicing that with her. You can see I went a little bit too fast the first time. Uh, and she got confused because she has another trick uh, where she actually goes through the tunnel like you're seeing there, which I don't want her to do, which is why I'm not rewarding her for it. I'm going to slowly start to move this away from the wall uh, so that she gets used to carrying the item a bit further backwards, which right now seems kind of counterintuitive uh, because she's moving backwards with it, but this is mainly to just build her drive and her um, ability to hold the item, which is her main problem right now. It also helps teach them to target a certain thing with the item, like uh, in the case of the jumps I was talking about before, that's targeting them to go over the jumps, but I want her to bring it through the hoop. So, there you go. And she is a little bit less inclined to pick up items. So you're seeing her progress a little bit slower than her sister, uh, but that's fine. Since she's now picking this up, we are going to probably uh, get to fetch within the next few sessions, which is pretty good. Good job. And you'll notice I'm using a clicker for this, which is just to mark exactly what I like. Um, I'm not sure where the others went, but at least we're getting some nice quiet time here. That's okay. You know, if this is our progress for the session, this is already really good for her. Uh, since she was having some trouble picking it up before, so seeing her pick it up at all is really good. Hi, Olive. Olive, you want to show us how it's done? That's right. Olive has no problem with this. Okay, so that wasn't too bad for Donut. Um, I think that's probably the main part of her session for today. So I'm going to work more with Olive now. Okay, so now I have Olive here with me, and let's see how she's doing. Oh, good. So she has already kind of internalized that hand fetch, which is great. So let's go ahead and start to introduce her to fetching the uh, ball to a hoop. And just as a side note, if you haven't taught something like fly ball before and you're just starting from general fetch, you'll likely need a little bit more time for them to learn hand fetch, uh, simply because they won't understand that they need to target something specific like your hand. But in this case, it was just kind of something that she was already doing, so it wasn't really a lot of difference. Now the way I'm going to teach her to fetch the ball to the hoop, uh, in this case, because she's already fetching it to my hand, all I have to do is transfer her target from my hand to the hoop. So you can see I'm just going to put my hand over the hoop, and when she gets to it, I'm going to reward her. <laughs> and they will try to take the ball out, and you do not want to reward them for that. So I'm going to again. And even though she missed, that's completely fine with me. Sometimes they'll miss, and you know, in the beginning, you want to reward uh, them for trying, especially if they have the right idea like she does here. So I'm going to just keep practicing this. There we go. And I'm going to reward in place. You'll notice I'm rewarding in the hoop. Now, because she is already fetching it to my hand and doesn't seem to really be noticing the hoop, I'm going to make the hoop a little bit taller, uh, just so it's a little bit easier for her to notice when she is really getting it into the hoop as opposed to just kind of missing it. Let's have her try with the raised hoop. So again, so you can see she's a little confused. That's okay. We're going to just try again. Over here. There you go! Okay, so that was really good. Uh, you might not see a rat try that nearly as quickly. Uh, every time just because she kind of picked up the whole idea of targeting again really quickly with fly ball uh, so that is really beneficial when you're training something else actually the first time I used fly ball to start teaching um, <laughs> to start teaching my rats how to target uh, with a basketball hoop was with my rat espresso who was having a lot of issues 
with my normal way of teaching basketball and I taught her fly ball first and then after that it all really clicked like right away so since then I have used fly ball several times to teach rats how to play basketball once they know fetch and I found that it's super effective and that is why I still use it okay so again I'm still kind of using my hand as a target good job you can see she kind of grabs it weird I'm not sure if she's grabbing it on the side or what she's doing, but she is uh, a little bit tilted to the side when she's carrying it. She'll probably stop doing that when she gets used to carrying the ball more. These balls are kind of hard for them to pick up and grip, so that's one of the reasons why I don't work with them at first. I mean, I'm working with them here, but I already worked with a paper ball with Olive first uh, when it came to fetch. Sorry about this training session, by the way. It's kind of just super chill and, I don't know, we're not really uh, focusing too much, which is okay. Yeah, occasionally. We have these sessions where we don't work as much. Um, I'm just going to reward her here because she's really trying. <laughs> she has no idea what I'm looking for and she's trying so hard. <laughs> you can see her trying to lift it and it's just so cute. Yeah, Sugar, we know. We know you're a little basketball rat, although you really didn't know. Uh... <laughs> there you go. Put it in here. Good job. I'm going to reward her in the hoop, like really inside it, just to really reinforce that I want her to place the ball in there. It's always better to reward in place if you can, uh, especially early on. Good job. Get that? Good job. Okay, that was pretty good. You did a really good job. Learning item-based tricks is a lot of fun, but at the same time, when you first start out, it can be really difficult for them, so you don't want to overdo it. And you just want to go at their pace. Ready? Can you spin? Can you spin again? Good job. You gotta put some spins in there. Okay, so thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Again, this was a pretty casual session, but I will be focusing a little bit more with them uh, in the coming sessions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!